What's up guys, Jordan here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Modern Warfare 3, or really any PC game, on your Mac, and how to play it with an Xbox 360 controller. Now, uh, I have this tutorial split up into two parts. The first part that you're watching right now, I'll show you how to play PC games on your Mac. And then uh, in part two, I'll have a link at the end of this video to part two. And in that part, I'll be showing you how to play uh, PC games with an Xbox 360 controller. Now, there's a couple different ways to play PC games on your Mac, but the way that I'm going to be showing you how to do it and the best way to do it to get the best uh, results and performance is to actually just uh, install Windows on a separate partition on your Mac. Now, I won't be showing you the exact full process of how to install Windows on your Mac using Boot Camp. Uh, I have a video down below that you can watch. Uh, make sure you watch that after this video because I will be showing you a lot of good tips and tricks um, on how to partition your hard drive and some other tips along the way. Um, so I won't be showing you the full process, but I definitely will be uh, giving you some great advice on how to do so. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump on over to my Mac where we're going to partition the hard drive using a boot camp. Now the first thing you need to do is open up the utilities folder which is found in your applications folder and then open up boot camp. Then uh, select continue and then I'll bring up this page. Now uh, to actually get Windows to work with uh, the Mac hard drive you actually need a lot of drivers and these drivers are found on the Mac OS installation disk. Now if you have uh, uh, Mac that came with Lion, you don't have one of those disks. So if you don't have a, a Mac OS install disk, you need to download all the Windows uh, drivers right here. But I already have one, so I'm just going to select that I have one and then click continue. Now, uh, this is the page where you select how much you want to partition. So right here, you see that I partition 35 gigabytes. That's a good size. Uh, to partition. It's enough room for the operating system, Modern Warfare 3 or a typical PC video game, and then also uh, a few extra gigs uh, in case you may need them. Now, uh, when I first partitioned my hard drive, I actually uh, completely forgot uh, about the fact that I would be needing to install Windows on it. I just partitioned enough for the games and then a few extras. So when you're partitioning, remember you need a space for uh, Windows, the game, and then uh, I would always leave a few extra gigs. Now you may be saying, what if I've already partitioned my hard drive, but I didn't partition enough space for a large video game like Modern Warfare 3? Or you may be saying, well, I just don't want to take an extra 16 gigabytes, or maybe more depending on uh, how many games you're going to be installing. You don't want to take that away from your internal Mac hard drive. Well, I'll be showing you a great fix for this problem in just a little bit. Now, once you've decided how much of your hard drive to partition, go ahead and select partition. And from here, pretty much just follow the on-screen instructions for installing Windows. You'll need to uh, put in the Windows install DVDs and then, like I said, just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be fine. But if you do uh, want a little bit more in-depth, uh, check out the video that I included in the description below on a little bit more specifics on how to install Windows with Boot Camp. Now, once Windows is installed, go ahead and pop in Modern Warfare 3, and this window will pop up automatically. Then go ahead and select Run, and then select Install, and then you'll need to accept the license agreement, and then you'll need to accept the license agreement for Steam, and Steam, if you don't know, is a program that manages all your PC games. Now, this is where uh, I show you the fix to that problem that I talked about earlier of not having enough room on the Windows uh, partition of your hard drive. If you don't, um, actually select Browse, and then connect an external drive to your computer, uh, select it, and then go ahead and type in Steam. So you'll create the Steam folder on this external drive, and then go ahead and install. So you can actually install all the game files on an external drive and run uh, the games from that drive. Now, um, it'll go ahead and install Steam, and then from there you'll need to create an account. So uh, agree to uh, this agreement and then uh, choose your account name, type in your email, security question, uh, and then finish. And then you'll need to type in the 
product code for your game and then install the game and then uh, wait for installation to finish. Now, once it's all done installing, you are all ready to play Modern Warfare 3 or whatever PC game you decide to install on your Mac. And remember, uh, depending on what you chose to do, you're actually running this game from an external hard drive. And that is really just a great option because you could have a uh, hundred gigs plus worth of uh, PC games, but you only had to partition, say, uh, 20 gigs of your Mac hard drive. So it's a great option if you want to save uh, a lot of space on your internal Mac hard drive. Now for me, I have not had any problems running Modern Warfare 3 from an external drive, and I've run it from both a USB drive and a FireWire drive. It has not been laggy at all for me. Uh, now I haven't actually compared it to running it on the internal drive on my Mac. However, I've played Modern Warfare 3 on multiple different Xbox 360s, and the load times on those uh, compared to the load times on my iMac, running it from an external drive are essentially the exact same. So it's not laggy and takes a super long time at all. So this is definitely a great option if you're looking to save space or you just don't have the space on your Mac to install a lot of PC games. Now, if you're interested in how to play PC games with an Xbox 360 controller, be sure to check out this video right here. I show you exactly how to play them with an Xbox 360 controller. And there's actually quite a bit more than just installing the drivers and plugging this bad boy in. I show you exactly how to do everything in this video right over there. Now, if you guys are interested in me making a full tutorial on how to install Windows on your Mac using Bootcamp, tell me down below. And if a lot of you are interested, I'll definitely try to make a video in the very near future on how to do that. Now, if you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, or anything you just want to tell me, you can uh, send me a message or comment down below as well. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, hopefully I'll see you over in that video in just a couple seconds, because you're going to go click on that and watch that video. So anyways, guys, later, and I hope you have a great day. Adios. Go check out that video. <laughs>